Hey, I demand an apology. <laughs> it's a good thing there are so many in the Christian intellectual tradition. That is not funny. But it's true. An apology is a somewhat technical term in philosophy. It's a book or an article that defends a philosopher's well-reasoned worldview or point of view. It's sort of like a memoir on steroids. Not only does it contain all of the things a person believes, but it also contains the arguments for why they believe those things and explanations about the particular experiences in their life that led them to have these beliefs. St. Augustine, a philosopher and Catholic bishop, was the first in this long tradition. He wrote the Confessions in the seventh century AD. Part of the reason why he wrote the book is because he believed in Plato's theory of anamnesis. Bless you. Thank you. The Platonic thesis of anamnesis is the theory that all knowledge comes from within. So in order to arrive at truth, we have to examine our own souls. But Augustine also wrote the book in order to defend himself against those who thought his conversion to the Christian faith was irrational. So in a part, Augustine's Confessions is apologetics, a reasoned defense of Christianity as a whole, as well as an apology, a reasoned defense of Augustine's own views. And this tradition has continued all the way up until the present. In fact, there are many examples of philosophers who've taken the time to write out their particular apologies. For instance, John Henry Newman in the late 18th century wrote his Apologia Pro Su Vida Sua in order to defend himself against charges that his conversion to Catholicism was irrational. In this class, we want you to take some time to really consider difficult issues about faith, morality, meaning, and God, and to figure out what your beliefs are and why you believe them. We sort of want you to write a miniature apology. And it doesn't matter what your particular views on these matters end up being. Maybe you've recently converted to Judaism. Maybe you've always been a secular agnostic. Maybe you're flirting with radical existentialism. Whatever your views on these issues, it's important that, as an adult, you have serious intellectual considerations to bring to bear on the topics. The first part of this assignment is actually going to be filled out online at the beginning of the semester using a special survey that we've created for this class. The survey is going to ask you to take some time to consider your views coming in about faith, morality, and meaning. Throughout the class, we'll refer back to these questions and have you refer back to your particular answers in order to critically defend them, think them through, argue about them, and maybe even change some of them. It is really important that you're honest and thoughtful when you're filling out this survey. There aren't right or wrong answers, but there is a right way to do it. So set aside 45 minutes, clear your mind, and get ready to really think about what you believe. As we approach the end of the semester, we're going to be asking you to revisit your beliefs in a more systematic way. So looking at whether or not you still agree with the claims that you made in the initial survey, what new reasons or arguments you've discovered over the course of the class, and how these are coming together to be a statement of your worldview. Something to keep in mind is that there are really three key virtues of apologies. The first is that it's sincere. It has to accurately capture your beliefs on the topic. The second is that it's well-reasoned. It has to draw on philosophical reasons and argumentation. And finally, we want it to be clear. So you have to keep in mind that your audience has to understand where you're coming from and why you believe what you do. So Megan, you want that apology? Ugh. Hey.